On today's Fixing Buzzing Stuff, we're going to talk about carpet grippers. Okay, so this carpet gripper that's on here now, I believe it's for a 70s and up. Um, the way the carpet works, it has like a rubber trim. And once you pry this open in here, uh, then you slip the rubber trim into here, and then you're able to bang on this to cinch it down. If you look here, you can see the rubber trim on the carpet. It's got like some kind of uh, weird shape to it. And it slips in the channel and then you hammer it down and it keeps it in place where the uh, 69 and below it's a different setup as you can see here um, the carpet gets tucked in and then you hammer from above and then the metal just senses it in place okay so let's look at the the new carpet gripper uh, it's this guy here. Uh, I'll give you a part number so I can focus in on it. Part number 050-1240. And I got this from CIP1. And I think it was like 17 bucks for the pair. It's a thin, it's a thin uh, sheet metal here. And the flat side here goes towards the door. And it sits like that. So and it gets welded to this edge here. So that's what that looks like. Um, it comes, it's not painted, but it comes kind of uh, with some kind of oil or grease on it. So definitely clean it first. But first things first, we gotta remove this guy. So we have to pry this out and remove it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. See here is a little bit of light. So this whole strip here is held down by um, by some spot welds here. There's like one here, there's one here, a couple here. So you could uh, remove the spot welds, but you risk in drilling a hole in, into the heater channel. So that's why I don't take out the spot welds like I normally do. So usually I pry this up, and sometimes the spot welds are not in there very well, uh, but sometimes it just pops right out. In this case, it's not popping out, which is fine. So what I'll do is I'll just cut close to the spot weld, cut straight, going this direction, and clearing it up. So I'll show you how I do that. But just give me an idea here. If we look there. It's not spot welding on the end. So, pull that back. And also I wanna show you too that, you can see it here, it's not painted underneath there. So you definitely, if you're gonna use this and plan to paint the car and make it look nice, be sure that you paint this too. Cause this eventually, this will rust out. And you don't want that. I mean, moisture gets in here, whether you guys go out and it rains and you're stepping through here, water will get in here. Anyway, let me grab some stuff and I'm gonna start taking this off. I'm gonna cut in small sections first, and then pry up a little bit. So that's next. See the uh, spot weld here. Left a tiny hole. Just gonna have to fill that in before we put the copper grippers on. So I'm gonna do that to the rest of it here. 
Uh, same technique. Uh, gonna cut a little bit and twist. Once you cut it, just twist it like that, or just turn it. it. Comes right out. Now it has a little bit of a hump here. You can bang that down. Um, you're never going to see this part because that's where the carpet comes up. The carpet comes up and over, and then it gets cinched down. So you're never going to see that, that little hump. But I still will bang it down a little bit. Don't take much effort, but definitely fill in the holes. So I'm gonna fill these holes in and uh, grind them down and probably paint over this. As you can see, I, I added the, uh, I plug welded everything, uh, grind it down smooth. Um, did it along the whole way to the end. Just a side note, uh, when you guys weld this area here, be sure that you clean it up really well if you're going to make this look nice. The carpet doesn't cover this area. Usually you paint and um, this is like kind of first thing people see when they open the door. So. He want this to be looking nice, uh, definitely address this area. Anyway, I'm prepped here. I grind this back so I can add that uh, carpet gripper. That'll be the next thing. I'm gonna um, clean the carpet gripper and uh, get it ready for install. Okay, now that all this is exposed, I'm going to paint it uh, with uh, welding, um, welding primer here. This stuff works really good. So I'm gonna paint this because this, this is exposed and I don't want it to be exposed once the carpet's in. And I'll let it sit for like uh, 15, 20 minutes and then we'll attach the uh, carpet gripper. Okay, now that the paint is dry, um, I'm gonna start welding. I also painted the underside of uh, the carpet gripper here to prevent any future rust from forming. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to attach it. I'm gonna weld it on. So uh, that's what I'll get ready to do. Okay, I added the, the carpet gripper here. I have a magnet just to hold it in place. I'm actually sticking it on the edge of the radius here. And we're gonna weld that in together. It's gonna be welded smooth. And for over here, I do have a spacing of about a half inch. Uh, coming off the door jam here, it's a half inch over to the edge of this here. And the reason being is because your hair liner comes with a trim, a rubber trim that you stick in here like this. As you can see here, it does get pretty close to the carpet stripper, I'm sorry, the carpet gripper gets close to it. So I leave a half inch um, just to give some clearance. And you know, the headliner has um, material that goes down and around and and so on. So um, that's my recommendation, just a half inch clearance from door jam over to the edge. And if you look on this side, it's kind of close to this Door jam too, but not too bad. So that's where I like to leave it. You guys can put it position wherever you want. 
Um, some people don't have headliners put in their cars. They leave it uh, just painted. So that's just my recommendation. So at this point, I'm going to start welding uh, this piece in. Okay, spot weld these in. Um, I'm going to weld the rest of it in. I like to uh, seam weld it all the way across just to give it a nice, uh, nice finish. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Um, I probably won't film that part, that's part be boring for you guys, but I'll show you the end product. Okay, I got her welded in. Uh, I just need to clean it up a little bit more, uh, but I cleaned most of it. It's in, sitting there pretty good. Um, it's all in. I should show you the other side so you can see what the, the clearance that you're working with. But it looks pretty good. Maintain the half inch here clearance. So let me go to the other side. So you can see the other side here. See the clearance? Right there you can see the weld all the way through. So not sure how much clearance you have here. It looks like a half inch. Uh, you can bend this down once you put the carpet in. But uh, that should be it. See from the top here. Uh, once you um, clean it up and make it look nice and painted and it'll look pretty good. So, well, that's how you put these in. Uh, again, these are pretty easy. And I seam weld all the way across here to make it look like a nice finish like it continues on to the heater channel but anyway uh please like subscribe and comment and thank you for watching